I am using Silhouette Studio, the basic version, for a Cameo 3 cutter. The basic version is free, so that's nice. And you don't have to have an account or a login to use it, so that's wonderful for schools. If you're letting lots of kids use it. It's a pretty easy interface. Um, design to set things up. Store if you want to actually have an account and buy stuff. Library of uh, images. That's where you would store them um, as you buy them. Again, you need an account for those too. And then send to the cutter. Then you got your basic menus across the top. Your design tools on the left. And then other things over here on the right. Pick scan, palette fills, trace, text. Uh, I will start with just some text. So click on the A on the left. It's at Lucia Grande. That's fine. There are tons of text fonts. Um, just highlight what you want. Come up here to the drop down menu or even probably over here and change to what you need. Nice, you can just click through and it changes it live for you so you can kind of see what you want instead of having to click out um, and see it. So that is good. I'm just going to like that because I'm actually not going to cut this. Um, change size. Uh, obviously, uh, you can change. Here at, at the seven at the number, probably even type a number in, right? Yep, one ninety might be a little bit. Yep, change the size that way, or just grab a corner and drag the object to make it bigger, and the the number actually went change with it. Okay, so there's text, objects. Um, Flaticon.com is a great place to find some objects. Silhouette Studio wants PNGs and JPEGs. It does not want SVGs, uh, which means you're going to need to trace this object. So I brought in a PNG of a basketball. I come over to the tools, and it was nice. I can just click and drag it in there. I come over to my tools, and I find trace, which is a butterfly-looking thing. Um, select trace area which just means draw a box from what you want to trace and then solid fill all in fill fiddle with what you're seeing with what you get there and the threshold you might have to play with a little bit till you get that all yellow what you want traced uh, and that's usually because sometimes you're bringing in objects that are grays shades of gray or color um, if you bring in a nice solid black object icon it will do a great job automatically Trace or trace outer edge. Trace outer edge is just going to get you the out and outside of things. So if you have, like I was doing robots, which had circles inside of squares, inside of rectangles. If I just trace the outer edge, it's just going to, just going to get the outer shape. And for all the inner stuff, i got to use trace. Notice, if you can see, there's some red lines popped up. That was the trace. So I pull my PNG off and I delete it. So there's my object. Resize it as wish. Again, this is a 12 by 12 cutting mat. Um, some of the heat transfer vinyls are only 12 by 10, so pay attention to that, where you're putting things on your mat. Um, the final thing, if you remember, heat transfer, you need to reverse letters and numbers. So you need to select your object. Do you want to reverse, or pictures if you want to reverse those too. And then go up to object and mirror them horizontally. If you don't do it, they'll, there's another chase place that'll, it'll help you. Um, so we come into send, and since the last thing I did was heat transfer, it's got heat transfer selected. So make sure if you're doing t-shirts that you do select heat transfer. Um, the scroll down menu of all the types of things it's thinking. Because if you just have vinyl, it's not going to ask you the next important question. Um, so, what's going to happen when you have heat transfer selected? So, I don't have my camera hooked up to this, that's what's saying unavailable. When you click send, it's going to ask if you want to send it mirrored or send as is. 
If you don't have heat transfer selected, it's not going to ask you that. So you better have um, mirrored it in the original. So, so that's going to mirror whatever you have on here. So it was like a, a safety check for me. Then it hits end, and there you go, using um, Solid Studio. Enjoy. Making some t-shirts. So I designed uh, NeoMaker EDU in Cameo Silhouette Studio, Silhouette Studio for the Cameo, free version, the basic version, which you do not need an account to use. The first time I did it, I forgot to mirror the images. I also forgot to tell it I was using heat transfer. If I had told it I was using heat transfer, it would have asked me if I wanted to mirror the images. Live and learn. Um, so this is using the Cameo cutter right there. This is the trickiest, hardest part with the vinyl. You have to weed the vinyl that you don't want away from what you do want to leave on. Um, you need a good set of tools. I found these, uh, I think they're like actually a cosmetic thing. They're called uh, on Amazon for like five or six dollars. You don't have to spend twenty dollars for Cricut Silhouette um, brand. Patient, be meticulous, take your time. This style of uh, heat press I saw a lot of recommended temperatures about 350, so I've got this set between 340 and 360. I was able to make it work at 250 before I knew the temperature. There were no instructions left, so I couldn't tell. Thing to remember with the vinyl, when you're cutting it shiny side down, for uh, heat transfer that we actually cut the vinyl the shiny side is the plastic carrier and when you're pressing it shiny side up and then I use um, some parchment paper in between and then about 20 seconds with uh, the heat press pull it off the heat press peel the plastic off always peel things slowly and there we go I did a jumbled letters one just because I had uh, forgot to cut the letters backwards. <laughs>